Good morning, Claudia. Claudia Diaz, professor from K11. I have a number of uh, questions for you. Well, the summer of 2013 will be remembered for the revelations regarding the NSA, JCHQ's uh, mass surveillance. And I'd like to ask you which uh, of these revelations or the discussions surrounding the revelations surprised you the most? Okay, so I think for people working in computer security, the revelations are not so surprising in the sense that they actually match many of the assumptions that we had when we were, when we designed technologies, right? And uh, what is very interesting for us is that the assumptions, the, the, the actually distrust assum assumptions under which we work when we develop technologies were harder to defend before the revelations because we look like we are too paranoid that you know we don't trust the institutions we don't trust the, um, the system <laughs> and now it turns out that many of these assumptions were actually correct in the sense that yes there are adversaries that try to spy on you and if you want to be protected then you need to have quite strong protections now that said what i found personally most surprising is the collusion between the, the secret services and industry uh, in a number of ways. So particularly inserting backdoors into hardware and operating systems, I found that quite shocking. Um, I think that trying to influence the standards was something that was already more or less known, that they might be doing this, that they might be pushing for weak standards in order to be able to break security technologies. Uh, but yeah, I think for me it was the collusion, uh, both in PRISM, so to look into social networking data, into email data and so on, because I think these companies have a lot to lose somehow, uh, and many of them will lose a lot, especially mm -hmm. cloud providers, international customers particularly, uh, might really regard them as not trustworthy. So I am a bit surprised by the degree of collusion between corporations that provide ICT infrastructures and the, secu the secret services. In your opinion, is there any technical measure that uh, the member states of the European Union or any states could adopt to protect themselves from this kind of mass surveillance? So, I guess one way of, of, of looking at what happened is to, to think of it as when we think of security and surveillance online, we can think both in terms of offense or defense, right? We can think of, okay, uh, in order to improve our own advantage, in order to have better national security, we need to be able to surveil everyone. We need to be able to grab as much information as possible. And for that, we need systems to be not so secure because that security would get in our way in our ability, would, would somehow diminish our ability to collect information. Now, the other way of looking at it is that the way to improve national security is to actually invest in defense invest in making systems more secure. And, I, and for example, uh, designing systems with backdoors in them might give an initial advantage to the NSA or to the organization who knows about the backdoor and knows how to exploit it. But what we see is that eventually it is quite typical that other entities will also gain access to these backdoors. And in the end, I think that from the computer security perspective, many people would agree that in the end you might actually end up hurting national security because you are making the whole infrastructure more vulnerable, you are making everybody more vulnerable by putting back doors and by having weak security. So I do think that we should invest more in, in defense, we should invest more in having technologies that are resistant to surveillance, that have strong protections, even if in some cases this may make law enforcement investigations more difficult or it might somehow undermine or yeah, in increase the cost of, of, uh, of, some, of s some part of the national security. The European Parliament has uh, recently launched an inquiry into the NSA prism related uh, scandals. What do you think that the EP should look into, for instance, from a technical perspective? It's a difficult question. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
that's uh, that's quite clear. They have a long uh, the, the inquiry is going to last for a couple of months. So we'll see we we'll see what comes out of it. But perhaps you should feature in it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you a lot, Claudia, for Thanks. for your um, availability to reply to the questions. Thank you very much.